Well, howdy kids. Ah, crap. It's been a long time. Speaking of time, Don't Starve is all about being time efficient. So today, I'll teach you how to save time by a margin of days, uh, hours, minutes, s seconds really, it's, it's just seconds. You know that old school trick where you hold space and spam clicks to chop trees fastest by like one second? Yep, that kind of stuff. So in no particular order, here are a couple of time saving tricks that I've learned while playing the game. First off, if you don't mind using mods, I suggest using the Action Q Reborn mod. It's an amazing mod that automates your tasks. For a control test, I planted 50 pine cones with and without the mod. And here is the result. While manually planting took about 56 seconds and a lot of fidgeting, Action Q Reborn only took 22 seconds and the click of two buttons. So I highly recommend this mod not only for saving time but also for relieving your fingers from stress. And now for the purists who would rather step on Legos than use any mods. Digging and placing tiles at the corner. When you perform these tasks by right clicking in the middle of each tile, you waste quite a bit of time because you have to move so much. So you save quite a bit of time by walking to a spot where 4 tiles meet. As you can see in this control test, I am placing 100 tiles. On the right, I'm doing it manually by right clicking where 4 tiles meet. And on the left, I'm using Action Q Reborn again. And although Action Q doesn't have any input delay and doesn't even have to stop to change the stack, it still takes 8 seconds longer than the manual approach because it doesn't go to the corners as I do. So with a bit of sweaty clicking, you can be faster than a robot. And lastly, stop item bounce. You know how when you trade a lot of trinkets to the pig king or break a lot of stone fruit and the items bounce all over the place, which makes it annoying to pick them up? Well, you can prevent this by building a net out of fences. For pig king, build a line of 8 fences in front of the obelisk and then 2 more at each end. Then if you sit in the middle and trade the trinkets, all of the gold will be caught in a neat pile. For stone fruit, build 3 fences like so and drop them in the middle, then you can start mining away. But wait, I hear you say, then you're just wasting time by mining the stone fruit when you can easily blow it up with gunpowder. You're right, and you can also use gunpowder with this method. Just split your stone fruit into stacks of 10, drop them slightly in front of the net, then drop the gunpowder about two fences away from the stone fruit exactly below it. Right, that's about it. I hope this information is going to save you more time than you've spent watching this video. Otherwise, it's just a waste of time. And wouldn't that be a shame? Big shout out to my Twitch channel. I started streaming again during this summer holiday. If you want to catch me live, join my Discord channel, enter the roles room, and then get the stream notify role, which will give you a notification every time I go live. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.